Hello Flight Simmers, hello friends, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim. This morning I actually read the funniest ever comments uh, on YouTube, so um, take it easy on your spouses guys. <laughs> don't, don't make them go through the same uh, YouTube journey as, as you are on. Um, not just kidding, it's hilarious guys, uh, you guys are really hilarious, I love to read the comments, that is so funny. Um, Alright, we are here in uh, in Mali on Mal Maldives. Um, I teased it last week and some of you got it right by even commenting I'm flying the uh, toothpaste liner, <laughs> which I also love. So yeah, of course we are in the Condor A330neo. This is the headwind mod, so the freeware version of the plane. And uh, we will be heading back to, to Frankfurt and I'm very excited about this. Uh, for two reasons. Uh, reason number one is I was actually a while back, or a couple of years back, I was on this flight uh, myself uh, from Maldives back to Frankfurt. Not on the Condor, uh, but uh, on the on the Lufthansa um, A330 uh, CEO. It was back in the in the days, and um, also I will be in a Condor A330 Neo in December this year, although on a different route. But still very much looking forward to finally get into the uh, Neo in real world as well for the first time. So uh, two reasons to be excited about this. Before we kick things off, um, I do want to mention I caught my, myself a bit of a cold. So that's why uh, I'm, I might sound like uh, Donald Trump behind a, a Darth Vader mask or something today. So um, that's that's uh, just for you guys. If, if you feel like I'm, I'm sounding a bit weird, that's uh, most likely the, the reason. Right, and... Um, yeah, so this scenery is uh, rather new, released by FSDG. A uh, nice rendition of the airfield, although I don't know how I can get so the jetways in here, which is really annoying. I've tried a couple of uh, things, but not sure if they even provided so the jetways for this airport. So that's a little bit disappointing, but maybe I just missed something. And yeah, I only got uh, myself the airport. There are other packs to have like the the islands and all the um, small atolls out there modeled as well, but that's not too relevant for me, so I stick uh, to the airport only. And um, yeah, over in Frankfurt, of course, we're going to check out the brand new Aeros of Frankfurt scenery. Finally, a high quality paper scenery for Microsoft Flight Sim for my home base airport. So I am super stoked <laughs> to uh, see this one in action or to use it. And um, yeah, so that's uh, the plan. Quickly pulling up. We will look at the simple flight plan in, on the EFB inside the flight deck. Just quickly pulling up the routing. Um, so this is how we're gonna fly basically through uh, United Arab Emirates uh, over Turkey and then into Europe they actually in real world they fly over Saudi Arabia then south of Israel through Egypt and then up north which is in my opinion the much more scenic route because crossing the um, the Red Sea is very scenic typically I for the life of me I could not get any system to give me the the routing through Egypt I tried Simbrief, of course, I tried several databases, nothing seemed to give me the, the proper routing, so in the end I gave up, and now we're actually flying uh, the, the more northerly route, which will also be nice, of course. It's a daytime flight, we will leave um, uh, Malé here at, uh, at midday, roughly, and then we will get to Frankfurt uh, evening time, I think it should be around sunset time, maybe a little bit before sunset, but it should be nice evening, and um, yeah, you can see we are gonna experience a bit of a headwind throughout the flight and then in terms of weather it should be fine there is a huge rain area over um, Czech Republic and Austria these days it's it's even on the news so they are expecting a lot of floodings and stuff so through the later part of our flight we actually will will need to look out for whether maybe there's gonna be something in our way but other than that it should be a smooth journey hopefully all right so that's that I'm still considering, so now you can see we have uh, ice traffic going on, I'm still considering if I should switch to VETSIM when we get to Frankfurt. I'm recording on a Sunday, so I'm quite sure there will be VETSIM online. However, I am not sure. Depends on how I like the aircraft up to this point. It's it's a freeware, typically I'm very careful flying freeware aircrafts on the network. You never know how they behave. If the airport is busy, you need might need to go to do a go around or holding or something i'm not sure if this aircraft is really up for it so let's see that's still open for debate uh during the flight 
Right, let's see. Refueling is going on. That's good. And uh, yeah, I think let's bring that on the introduction and let's jump into the flight deck. Right, here we are. Everything seems to be a bit dark. Definitely need to fix that. Yeah, so I I was a little bit disappointed to see that the last update for this aircraft is actually a long time ago, almost a year ago now, and it seems like they, they don't work on this anymore, which is which is a pity. I have not tried the Latin VFR A330 Neo yet. Um, usually I'm not I'm not really interested in buying Latin VFI aircraft for this sim at least. They are rather disappointing. Um, but still I felt like it's cool to be back in the A330 Neo. And I think by the end of the year maybe already we're going to have some paperware A330 Neo in this sim, which is going to be nice. Right, um, coming to the dispatch. So Condor 2321, flight time just under 10 hours, alternative Munich. And here is what I found quite interesting. So, trip fuel for a 10 hour flight is only 52 tons, which I find very low already. Um, and just for curiosity, I compared it. I, I um, dispatched the same flight plan for the A330 CO uh, just to see the difference. And the CO turns out to burn 58.3 tons on this flight. So that's around what is 6.2 tons more than the NEO and that's exactly the same number of passengers, same same payload. So super super interesting to see the, the progress in technology saving 6 point something tons of fuel on the, sa on the same flight, doing exactly the same, carrying the same passengers and, and stuff. So yeah, that's what, what I always find very fascinating uh, to compare like fuel burn data and, and this kind of stuff. Right. Um, Seems like we're going to depart towards the north, uh, which is going to be very direct onto our routing for us. Frankly, we're going to check out later on 298 packs, so almost fully booked. Cargo 6.5 tons. Right, I think that's really all we need to look on here. Uh, let's see. Um, how do we? We are not refueling, are we? 1586, so how do I kick it off? Are they even still there? Yeah, okay. So I need to kick it off somehow. I'm gonna go fast. Three minutes. Three, 30 minutes. Let's, let's do three minutes. Because then we still need to board. And this, of course, takes some time. Yeah, now we are refueling. That's good. Yeah, it's increasing. Right. Atsu, do we even have Atsu? We do AOC menu in it. In a data request. Let's see how this works out. 959. Looking rather good, I would say. Um, weather. Let's see if this works. Receive messages. Matar. 2988. Uh, variable winds. A uh, few clouds. 1900. Broken flight of 280. 32 degrees. 1010. 1010 is. set very well oh also i need to kick on the irs's of course like this also are we hooked up to ground air i'm not even sure if we have ground air because if not then i might need to kick on the apu to get some air conditioning let's see um, conditioning. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. We are burning away. Okay, so let's fire up APU bleed. Okay, um, what else? Uh, since loading is going on, I hope it works. Payload. Yeah, we'll kick 
on sim brief we can kick it on now yeah I keep saying this not sure why request uh, boarding I think it should kick off JSX is outdated as well okay no, we are in the aircraft already Ooh, lots of uh, ground management things here to do um, okay so weather looks good flight plan no nope, in it getting ahead of myself uh, is that correct? Let's see, 47. Oh, it is everything correct. 360 initially. Cool, so, flight plan. Departure 36. On the Lele 2 Alpha insert. And for the arrival, we just go with the Simpri for now, so that's ILS. Two five right Zulu coming from the Kera arrival. I think it's the Alpha. Let's check the charts. I should be this one actually. Kerax for Bravo. Okay. There was a mismatch in there. We're gonna check it in a second. Um, secondary. Oh, that's not active. Okay, never mind. Uh, still need to check out the departure. Let's pin this one. Uh, we will get the airport chart pinned. Um, departure. Lelem to Alpha. Alright, so... This is what it is. We um, take off runway heading to four miles, and then left hand turn, 3500 above, and Lelem. I think, judging from flight radar, what they do, they probably climb to the four miles and then go direct to Lelem. It's just easier, and that's what they typically, typically get from ATC, I would expect. So that's what we can do as well. Yeah, there's the 3500 and then Lelem. A lot of waypoints. Okay, 360. We can dial this in here. I want to have some light in here. Ah, there we go. That looks better. Probably need to put in some background lighting. Right. Um, okay, this goes all the way three six zero constraints VORs. And now let's see APU bleed. Yeah, now we're getting some cooler. Uh, that's good. Right. So boarding is uh, still progressing. In the meantime, I have used Simbrief to do some uh, performance calculations for our takeoff today. Just briefly want to check. Yeah, it seems like it's filling up. Um, okay. In it, second. Um, yeah, we expect a block fuel of 60.6. And a uh, zero fuel weight of 158.5. I will wait with the. Uh, I need to put in something, I guess. Hmm, okay. Plants, uh, zero fuel weight 22.2. Okay, there we go. Just need to double check the values uh, in the end. Right, um, for the departure now, um, Sim Brief is giving me 
a flap one. Don't know the trim yet. That's something we need to sort out. Um, flex temperature of 50. And speeds of 150. 153 and 159 and that's a full length obviously okay in terms of thrust reduction and acceleration there's nothing on the charts um, so we're gonna go with 800 which I think makes sense because we are heading out over the ocean so we can uh, keep this one um, low I think it's NADP 2, right? I always get confused with 1 and 2, but I think this is uh, 2. Yeah, NADP 2, it should be. Passengers bus is coming. Okay, flap line looks very messed up. Um, and I think this is already the sign for me to not fly on the network when we get to Frankfurt. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but it's what it is what it is. Right, we are still roasting away here. Air conditioning uh, takes a long time to cool the aircraft. Maybe we should go high flow. Seems like we're almost there, just a few passengers missing. Right, boarding is finally completed and I'm just noticing maybe I am not even supposed to be here on the stand. I'm not sure if here's enough clearance to a heavy taxiing by, so uh, maybe I'm parked uh, on the wrong stand, <laughs> but never mind. Okay, so um, let's see, Thank we have... On behalf of myself, your captain, the first officer. Board, he completed some announcement going on. We're just wrapping up some paperwork up front here. He's also a, a YouTuber, isn't he? What is his name? Is it V1 Simulations or something called on YouTube? I do recognize uh, this voice. Okay, uh, seatbelts. Now, checklists. Or maybe we should close up everything first. Uh, services. Door. Jet bridge, even though it's not connected. External power coming off. So how do I close this door? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was stupid. Um, right, checklists. Cockpit preparation. Gear prints and covers removed. Fuel quantity. We have 60 not fuel on board. That did not work. Okay, there we go. That was a hiccup with that GSX, I think. So now we have 60 tons on board. Our cross weight seems to be correct at 219 tons. So payload I think worked out fine. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, back to the checklist. Fuel quantity check now. Seat belts are on. Adhere's are nav. Yeah, it's a free version. Should be fine. Bear reference is set. Right. Um, let's call for pushback. This parking is too small for your aircraft. Fuel pumps coming on, beacons coming on. Flight attendants, arm doors, and cross check. TA, oh, TA, there we go. This door goes locked. Your captain, we are ready for pushback. That is nice. Before stack check, as pack pack is set, takeoff speeds and thrust are inserted. Yeah, now it's getting cooler in here, that's nice. Oh, trim. Trim is something we need to check. Um, 
So how do I get my trim? I have a zero fuel weight center of gravity of 22, but I'm not sure if this is going to give me the right values. Twenty-two somewhere in here. I'm always confused. Is this the zero fuel weight center of gravity, or is it Looking the here. cross weight center of gravity? Okay, let's release the parking brake. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Um. Okay, so trim. I don't know. We need to figure out. Isn't there some sort of performance? values on here as well in the meantime. But I can't see any trim. Okay, never mind. We're gonna make it work eventually. Let's fire up engines. Starting number two. Now we haven't completed the checklist, I think. Oh, I think I'm supposed to start with the number one, right? On the 8330? Anyhow, it's spinning now. It's spinning now. Windows are closed, beacons are on. Okay. Best pushback. Let's see if they will recover. Let's go back to normal flow so we don't have it on high for the takeoff. Engine two start is completed. Starting number one. Set parking brakes. Unlocking gear. Road track disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. Right, we have two good engine starts. That is wonderful. So, starter back to normal. APU bleed off, APU master off. Max auto brake, flap one. Now for the trim, okay, let's go for the uh, 22. That is up something. Up 1.0 roughly, and I think that that makes sense. That is certainly somewhere within within a good range. I would I would hope at least. And um, right, this goes to arm. We will do a flight control check. Full right, full left, full up, full down, rudder full left and full right. Checked. After start checklist. Anti ice not required. You can status check. Pitch trim is set. Drag trim is neutral. Taxi checklist. Flight controls are checked. Flap setting one plus F. Radar and predictive wind shear. On and auto. Engine mode selected normal. Ecam memo take off no blue. Oh, wait. That was too quick. We did not complete that yet. Right, let's uh, let's get going. Right, very short taxi only so here we are pulling up to the runway and a 
let's see, I still need to do a few things, so I'm not sure if we can keep it rolling. T-A-R-A. -A. Uh, traffic, I hope, is clear. Looks good, so strobes coming on. Landing lights and takeoff lights. Now we still need to do the TO config. Apart from cabin, but I'm not going to wait for this. Not sure if it's ever going to come around in this aircraft. And then we can complete the checklist. You can only take off no blue. Lineup checklist. Takeoff runway 36 is identified. TCAS is um, TARA. And PEX 1 and 2 are on engines. Now we could. Yeah, no, it's quite warm. So let's leave APU on. Right. Yeah, sorry, not the APU, the, the bleeds. And the bleeds on. Okay, guys. I'd say we are ready to rock and roll. So, once again, not paying too much attention here to the navigation display, we will climb to four miles from Mike Lima Echo and then go direct. Whatever it's called. Lilem. Okay, guys, are we ready? Are we ready to go flying? I hope so. Let's go. Okay, so around 50% stable. Okay, so I, I am in flex, it's just not, uh, oh, not quite. There we go, man flex, SS and runway. That was not too easy. See the wingtips rising. You want rotate. Okay, trim turned out to be fine actually, that's nice. Pause the rate. Gears coming up. Nice, really, really nice. Should be looking inside, but enjoying the views out of Marley. Nice! Small little island airport, love it. Okay, climb detent. Thrust climb, maybe I don't have my detent set up correctly, that's why it didn't work on the takeoff. And accelerating. I'm gonna continue runway heading just so that the um, flight director does not give weird inputs. Climb, let's go. Flaps up. Right, okay, that's four miles. That is four miles, that's very good. So let's go direct Lilem. Nav, autopilot. Sweet. Alright guys, looks like we're on our way. On our way to Frankfurt. We don't have an after takeoff checklist, so we don't need to bother about that. And so, that is that. Guys, thanks for joining me on the departure. Now let's uh, do a 10 hour flight and then we'll meet back for a landing into the new Aerosoft Frankfurt scenery. Looking forward to that. Catch you later guys.
Alright folks, welcome back. We are approaching Frankfurt and we are doing so fast because I'm uh, full speed break right now. Um, I kind of miss to descend properly in order to not go the full um, hour and a half arrival, but typically what they do, they, they put the aircrafts on an altitude at the beginning of the star. So we are flying now the Carax 5 Alpha. I think early on I died the completely wrong one, but of course coming from Carax we are flying the 5 Alpha. Uh, and I think typically by ATC you would get flight level 110 by Kerax, but I didn't put it in the flight plan, so now I'm doing a bit of uh, cheating, well it's not cheating, the the levers of shame I think it's called, uh, that's what we're using here, and I think now we can also go on a heading, southbound, this should work out, yeah we will, we will get there. <laughs> It will look a bit uh, a bit funny now, uh, but we'll get there. Right, so I am still flying offline. Also, the way the arrival painted earlier on the navigation display, I'm not I'm not super comfortable flying this aircraft on the network, which is a pity because um, now Sunday evening, um, of course, Frankfurt is packed with ATC and traffic, and I have not been flying on the network in such a long time, especially I've not made a video on Betsim in a very long time. Um, so I want to actually put it out to you guys. What do you think? Do you do you typically like to, to see Betsim content? If so, do you just like to see the normal Betsim flights or maybe even events? Um, because I feel like I want to put more effort into, into bringing Betsim content to you guys. But let me know what you prefer or maybe you don't even care at all about Betsim and you just want to see me uh, fly offline that's also fine just let me know what you guys prefer and then I will I will make it happen one way or the other right um, we will go in on runway 25 right which is cool because it's it's a bit more scenic compared to the other ones since it goes uh, kind of past the airport for a little bit on the final approach so that should be nice uh, winds 8 knots from 317 degrees 1024 Which I believe I can dial now. 1024. We will do medium auto break. I haven't done proper calculations to be honest, but um, yeah, going into into runway 25 right. It's not the longest one, so it's typically recommended to do some proper braking. If we find the time now, we can also do some calculations. But for now, let's do some other stuff. We need to do some checklists as well. Approach, I will do in just a second. Let me make sure to have the localizer armed. Yeah, now we're coming back into profile. That's beautiful. So I can also start slowing down. That's the localizer spot on the glide slope so let's bring out the flaps flaps one this be 200 right and now we are on a very long final approach well we can already make out this is the mine river this is the downtown frankfurt loading in the airport is back there that's this is going to be beautiful guys this is going to be very very scenic Let's even slow down a bit further so we can bring out flaps two. Um, okay, now we can do approach checklist. Bear reference is set, seat belts are on, minimums are set as well, auto pack is medium, engine mode selector is normal. Next up will be the landing. Uh, go around altitude 5000 is set. We can quickly check out the charts as well. Yeah, so that was the um, the star. Let's see if we can find two five right Zulu. There it is. Yeah, so normal ILS approach. Really, uh, go around is all the way up north, uh, climbing to five thousand, following the published procedure. And on, on the ground, of course, it will be a bit of a taxi journey. So we will vacate probably. Papa 20, I assume. Then back on Papa, 
all the way, uh, crossing over to Lima, Lima towards the east, then November 3, and then we parked up on the Bravo stands. That's uh, the plan, at least. Right. 12 miles to go. Let's bring out... Now we're keeping the altitude, so that's, that's good. Oh, still speed brakes. Holy cow. <laughs> Almost forgot about them. I had them out for so long now. Uh, right, let's go speed. Now it's 10 miles, so you typically get something like 160 or 125 or something like that. So let's slow down 160. Look at this, guys. Holy guacamole. Now with the new, new world update release, I think they um, brought more content into Frankfurt City. This is properly amazing. My hometown, guys. <laughs> it's always so fascinating to see your hometown and Microsoft Flight Sim. This almost looks like real world. 2,500. 2,500 is checked. Let's bring on some lights. Those fellas come on as well. No, they don't want to. Oh, maybe they are on already. Oh yeah, they were one. Never mind then. Approaching 2,000 feet. Gears coming down. Checklist landing no blue apart from cabin, but once again, we're not waiting for this. Not sure if it will ever happen. Cool. Now, enjoy this, my friend. Oh, we can't disconnect here. Never mind then. Look at that. 1000. Beautiful scenery. It performs astonishingly uh, well, considering it's such a huge airport. 1, but it's really modeled very good, performance friendly. Yeah, so let's see about this landing. So, um, it does not really handle like an Airbus, it's, it kind of fluctuates up and down a little bit. Uh, it's not super stable. So let's see how this landing turns out, but I'm as of now rather interested in the scenery. <laughs> cool. 400. We're getting a little bit low, let's focus on flying then. Hundred above. Minimum. Continue. A little bit low, but it's okay. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard. Five. Ah, uh, that's what I meant. Oh, it's fluctuating. Man. But okay, we made it down. Reverse, reverse green, diesel. Hardly braking, I think auto brake kicked off. Right, idle forward. 
interesting. So it seems like the auto brake was not really kicking in. And yeah, that's what I meant. It's really hard to control on the flare. I'm not trying to make ex excuses, but it, it oscillates up and down. It does not behave like a, like a real ever, so... Kind of hard to control, but never mind. Never mind, it was still a beautiful approach into Frankfurt. Right, and now we will taxi to the gate, which will take... Uh, 10 minutes at least, maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> Let's see. Right, those lights... Okay. Right, we have almost made it. Pulling in for uh, the Bravo stance. And uh, fantastic scenery, I have to say. It's the first time I, I pr I'm properly using it in the sim, and it is. Wow, it's. It is really a very, very nice scenery. Performance friendly as well, even though I can't quite keep the 60 FPS, but that's to, ex to be expected here in Frankfurt. Right, stand 44, that's ours. Let's quickly kill some more lights. And swing around, just seeing uh, this is not completed. Oh, I need some power. Yeah, so I have to switch off a few things. I think you can even have detailed terminal interior, uh, which is a thing I never really cared about in any scenery, so I switched it off. But uh, other than that, airport looks fantastic. Maybe not the very best lineup, it seems like. Let's see. And there we go. Parking brake is set. APU is running, killing engines. Sweet, sweet stuff. Not sure why it's supposed to be too small. I'm quite sure it's a heavy stand. Requesting deboarding. Right, APU bleed. Few palms coming off. Um, Deers as well. Beacons, seat belts. External power. Parking checklist. Parking brakes are set. Engines are off. Wing lights are off. Fuel pumps are off. Cool. All right, guys. So that's that's it. That completes our Condor A330 Neo flight. I really, I I really love this livery. I hated it in the beginning. Now I love it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's awesome. Also having the different colors on this one. Just a bit unfortunate, we don't have any company traffic around, do we? Can't see any right now. It's only us. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so landing was not so perfect, but then again, it's kind of hard to control this aircraft on the flare, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I can't really tease any video for next week because I actually don't know which video I will record for next week. Um, but then you will, you guys will uh, see it on the channel, of course. And as I've uh, mentioned earlier, please let me know if, if you would like to see more VATSIM content. Then I will do my very best uh, to bring that to you guys. I feel like I haven't been on flying on the network in a long time, and I think it's about time to 
um, head back and, and do more bats and flying. Alright guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this Condor flight to Frankfurt. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will catch you next week. Take care everyone, bye bye.